Hello, I'm Agnes and today Henrik and myself will talk a bit about the Clips and Clips update and why we have split it into two releases. And we hope that we will be able to clarify some things around the split as well. So the Clips and Clips update will be released in two different parts. So one is a summer release and the other one is a holiday release. So that one will be released end of this year. There are three main reasons for us to split the update in two. The first one is quality, the second one is technical complexity, and the third one is super important and it's team health. To ensure quality, we have decided to release some of the features in the Capes and Cliffs update in holiday instead. And this is because like, for us, the most important thing is always to just like deliver as much player delight as possible. And we have realized that if we don't release some of the features, the more like complex features in holiday, there's a risk that they will not be in like a good enough quality and then it will just not be in as great experience. And of course, we always want to just provide you with, with the best possible experience. Hi, I'm Henrik. As Angus mentioned, one of the reasons why we're splitting this update into two is because of technical challenges. This update is huge. We are changing the very shape of the world in Minecraft, adding massive mountains, epic caves, and changing the height of the world in order to fit these things. This is tricky. It touches the core of how the world is generated. It's also tricky for performance reasons because uh, there's just more going on when the world is higher. So we've decided that we don't want to rush this. We want to make sure that we give this the time it deserves. While at the same time, we realized that there's a bunch of features that don't involve changing the way the world is generated. So we decided to split it and put those parts um, in the summer update and then put the world generation parts in, in the holiday update. Team health is something that's very important for us. With the Caves and Cliffs update, we realized if we're gonna release all the features in the summer, we would have to crunch a lot. And we shouldn't, and we, like, we don't want to force anyone to work overtime. Uh, we also want to acknowledge that we all are living in a pandemic right now, and we know that many have been affected by that. So it's much better to make sure that the team feel as good as possible and are as happy as possible because then we, yeah, then we can be happy and be creative and, and create a good game. So how exactly are we going to split the features across the two updates? In the first update, for the summer, we're going to focus on the blocks and the mobs, and not so much world generation. So blocks would include biome blocks such as uh, drip leaf, pointed dripstone, glow berries, and some building blocks such as deep slate, etc. And mobs will include the axolotl and the goat and uh, the glow squid. Most of the world generation is in part two, but there's, there'll be a little bit in part one as well, such as generation of copper, um, geodes, things like that. The second part is all about world generation. So that's where you'll find for the holiday update, um, the new caves, the new mountains, and the new world height, as well as the actual placement of the biomes. And the reason why we're doing it that way is because uh, the technical challenges I mentioned are mostly all about world generation. So that's where we want to give it more time to make sure we get it right. Plus, uh, it makes sense to put all the big world gen changes into one update to make it easier from a player perspective um, when you're going to upgrade your world. For us, it's very, very important to be respectful to old worlds. And that's, of course, true for the Capes and Clips update as well. So you will be able to update your world both to the summer update and to the whole day update and there should be no problems and I mean this is super important for me as well I think my world is more than 10 years old and I will get so upset if I couldn't play on it so yeah definitely you will be able to play on your old worlds and you will be able to continue to play on them for many many more years regarding testing holiday features in the snapshots and betas so that is still possible however we have turned them off like the default is that they are turned off, but you can turn them on so you can continue testing them and provide feedback for us because we want to continue to get feedback because we will continue to develop these so we can release them in the holiday. So uh, you can read in the description of the video how you turn those features on in the snapshots and betas. So there is one feature that is postponed even like after the holiday release and that's archaeology. And the reason is that Archaeology is a complete new system, which is very exciting. 
but that means that we really want to give it the time it deserves to so we can make it fun, inspiring, delightful and, and Minecrafty. So therefore, uh, it's possible. When I was fiddling around with drip leaf, tweaking it, I noticed that I couldn't stop playing with it. And I started calling in my kids and we were goofing around and laughing. And one thing we've learned in the team is that when you can't stop testing a feature, then you know you're onto something. And a lot of features in this update are like that. So I really hope you're gonna enjoy it as, as, as much as we are. So the summer update is very focused on mobs and blocks. And I'm so happy that you actually will be able to get almost all the biome blocks in survival, even in the summer update. So myself, I'm already like, oh, it's okay, I'm gonna find a moss block and then I'm gonna boom it. So I get all the vegetation blocks from the lush caves and then I can build you know, a park in my realm or a fancy garden. Uh, so yeah, I really hope that all of you also will be inspired by these blocks and mobs and will be able to just have a lot of fun and be very creative even during the summer. And we are very happy that we actually can release quite many of the features already in the summer because we know that many of you have more time to play games in the summer and then we want to be able to actually give you something new so you can have just extra fun when playing Minecraft in the summer as well. And we really, really hope that all of you are as excited as we are about the summer release and that the wait for the holiday release is, is worth it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and yeah, see you soon.